To replace parts in the feed rate control, disconnect power to the pump. Separate the feed rate control and the pump head from the motor. Remove and set aside three screws, feed rate mounting plate, dial ring. When removing the dial ring, observe how the cam is installed. Then, remove the brass spider assembly. Remove the old cam and discard. If required, remove the index pin assembly by unscrewing with a box wrench and replace the index pin lifter. The index plate can be inverted to the other side or replaced. Clean out the feed rate control channel before installing the new cam. Apply AquaShield to lubricate the cam's angled tip. Feed the angled cam tip into the feed rate control channel and keep the 90 degree end in the up position. Place a thumb over the cam to guide it as it is inserted in the channel. Continue to feed the cam in the channel until there is approximately a one half inch gap between the cam tip and the beginning of the channel. Place the dial ring boss onto the cam's 90 degree end. While keeping the 90 degree end in the dial ring boss and the cam in the feed rate control channel, in a clockwise motion, place the dial ring onto the feed rate control housing and snap into place. Apply approximately one ounce of AquaShield to the bottom of the feed rate control housing and to the top of the index plate. Place the spider assembly on the index plate. The lifter tip should be positioned in the one half inch gap in the feed rate control channel. To secure the mounting plate, align the plate arrow with the feed rate control housing arrow and install the three screws. If the screws are over tightened, the dial ring can be difficult to turn. If the screws are too loose, the dial ring can be inadvertently turned to setting 10 by the motor. For more information about our products and services, please call us at 1-800-230-1426 or visit us online at www.cannonwater.com.